here we have an x99 platform gaming PC I recently picked it up on marketplace for the price of 70 pounds it was advertised as non-working um, they did state it has an Intel i7 5820k uh, it's a very nice looking computer as you can see so can we get it working let's get it on the bench <laughs> Right, uh, another gaming PC on the bench today. Um, I've been looking for one of these for a while. Um, it's an X99 setup. It was advertised as not working. Um, so I got it quite cheap. I paid £70. It comes in a NZXT case, which I'm a big fan of. They're built to withstand a nuclear blast, these cases. Uh, it's got a GTX 780, uh, an Intel i7 5820K, and 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. Like I say, this advertiser is not working. And when I went and picked it up, you can see power supply is not even screwed in. And it's extremely dusty and dirty in there. Uh, there's no hard drives in it, but these are still a very good, capable gaming PC, um, even in 2023. And like I say, I always wanted one and I never had one, so hopefully it's going to be a simple fix. Alright, I've just taken the side off. It's, it is absolutely filthy in it. Ooh. Plenty of dust bunnies. Yeah. So I think maybe a strip down and clean before we try getting it going. It's likely it's overheated and killed the processor. That's my first thought. The uh, front panel connectors are not connected. I think it's a decent power supply in there though. We'll have a look at that. Yeah, let's uh, take it apart, and do some cleaning. Look at the dust in there, all in the spins. I don't think this PC's ever been cleaned out. Um, yeah, I can definitely see an overheating problem. I did plug it in, it doesn't fire up. It does fire up, the motherboard fires up, but there's no life on screen. So, let's carry on. seen a problem with it. I'll show you that in a sec. Look at that. So they've got the fan in and radiator installed around the wrong way. And that's drawing air in the back. 
and there's no cooling going on there whatsoever. Look at that. So the likelihood is it's overheated and killed the processor. That's what I'm hoping. Right, we've got the power supply out and it's a EVGA Supernova 650G2 650 watt power supply 80 plus gold in need of a good clean out that's a decent uh, modular power supply right that's most of the cleaning done I had to wash all the uh, air vents and the AIO radiator out with hot soapy water because uh, nicotine and fluff was everywhere. Unfortunately, the nicotine stained the case in some places, it won't clean off. But while I'm waiting for those bits to dry, I'm going to take apart the power supply and graphics card, clean them, and repaste the uh, thermal, re thermal paste the graphics card. All right, cleaning is complete. Two hours later, everything has been stripped down and cleaned. Everything. Um, graphics card I might be a little bit suspect about now because not only were all the fins blocked on both heat sinks, there's a smaller heat sink in the back here, all the fins in the fan were blocked. So it's been cleaned out, new thermal paste on it. But we're going to have to give that some proper testing to see if it's reliable still. Power supply has been taken apart and cleaned out thoroughly. No dust or cobwebs in there. But everything, even the graphics card, was just covered in fluff, soaked with nicotine and tar from smoking. This this computer has not been looked after at all. So, um, yeah. Alright, let's put it back together and see if we can get it running. Right, that's the PC back together, looking nice and clean. Round to the light a bit. And still a good looking PC that is. I like that. Uh, yeah, about three hours in total. But sadly, there's still no post on it. And when I reset the bias, the motherboard is going into RAM training. Because um, it does it for a little while and then resets. But still nothing on the screen. I've tried a different graphics card. So I'm going with my theory that the processor is dead because it overheated. Because this was just a, like a carpet on the back here. There's no air getting through there. So I've given my local friendly, well I say local, he's about 11 miles away local friendly computer shop ring to see if he's got any processes in and he has one so i'm going to whip off get that and try that right we're back 
and we have a new CPU. So that's looking at all its packaging. These are a huge CPU as well. So it's Core i7-5820K and I got it for £10. So it's going to be a cheap fix if that's the problem. Fingers crossed. Let's uh, put it in and see what happens. There's the old CPU. Paste is dry. Hmm. Looks very dull on the bottom as well. Compared to the other one, so let's pop the new one in. Not forgetting the thermal paste. Thermal paste, and we use Arctic MX4. I mean, if this doesn't fix it, then it's going to be the motherboard. In which case, I don't think I'd bother um, trying to find one. <coughs> I do have a Ryzen 7 board, which I could put in here in its place. Um, but the X99 boards, you can get the cheap Chinese ones. But, um, they're prone to failure after so much time, I believe. Never had to mess around with one. Yeah, so hopefully this is a cheap fix. If it is, you'll be seeing this video. If not, you won't be. Let's see what happens now. Does that return the power supply? Alright, we still have... Oh! We had something there. Maybe it's doing its RAM training. CPU or memory change? And we have a post. We have a post. Intel Core i7-5820K DRAM frequency 21 33 MHz memory size 16 gigabytes. Just going to keep an eye on that CPU temperature for a minute to make sure the uh, all-in-one is running. I'm up to 58 degrees already. 59, 60. Seems to be uh, thinning out at 60. Stay in there. 61. Right. Uh, 
obviously the graphics card still works but that will have to be tested um, I, I wouldn't trust it in there anyway I've got a better card to go in there I've got a couple of little upgrades planned for this it's got an M2 slot so we're going to install a 500 gigabyte M2 and um, I've got an RX 588 gigabyte which I'm probably going to put in there I'm worried about that temperature, CPU temperature, 63 degrees, 62, that idle. But yeah, let's install the M2, get an operating system on there and see what happens. Well, as you can see, Windows has gone on. It's running fine. We installed an NVMe under there. Now to update the BIOS, because um, there's a very early BIOS on it. I to update the BIOS for it to recognise the NV NVMe. Just downloading Windows updates. I'm going to install an RX 580 in there and see how she runs from there. But all in all, good result really. Just a new CPU. Cost me ten ten pound. Quite happy with that. It's a nice looking PC. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Click the like button down below. Consider subscribing if you want to see more tech videos like this. Um, yeah, let us know what you think of this in the comments. Is an X99 build still worth it in 2023? I might even do some uh, benchmarking gaming video on it. See you on the next video.